Hi, I'm David. I don't know about where you are, but here in Connecticut, it is hazy, hot, and humid. We've had 90 degree Fahrenheit days, lots of humidity, the ozone is up, and all of these things affect your breathing. And one of the questions we get asked all the time is, how does weather affect our breathing? So I'm gonna go over this today and explain it so hopefully you get a little bit better understanding. And I just want you to feel a little bit better knowing that you're not crazy. When the weather changes, it's going to affect you. So the things and the factors that will affect your breathing from the weather is the temperature, the barometric pressure, their humidity, allergens, and ozone. So as the temperature rises or drops, because we have an ideal operating temperature, we don't want it to be too hot, that'll affect our breathing, as well as too cold, because our lungs don't like dry, cold air. So in the wintertime especially, it's challenging. Now the barometric pressure, and here's what's really interesting about barometric pressure. On a good day, the barometric pressure is high. On a bad weather day, the pressure is low. And the difference between the outside pressure and the pressure in your chest wall affects your breathing. So what happens is, as you're breathing, your diaphragms drop and the volume increases. And what happens is, that creates a negative pressure. So you don't really have to do a lot to be able to breathe on a good day. And what will happen is your diaphragms will drop, the air will just rush in. It's like a vacuum, like a suction going in. What happens on a low pressure day is that the difference between outside and inside is much less. So you actually have to do the work to pull the air in. Then normally on a high pressure day, the difference is this much. On a low pressure day, the difference is this much. So the amount of suction or vacuum is this on a high pressure day and this much on a low pressure day. So if it's rainy or damp, or a storm is coming, you're gonna notice that your breathing is affected because you're working harder to breathe. And now with humidity, it's like trying to breathe through a wet, warm rag over your face. All that water vapor is in your lungs. You're trying to get the oxygen through that water into your bloodstream. It's really, really hard. So humidity has another big impact on your breathing. And then allergens, whether here in Connecticut, in the summer, in the fall, in the spring, we have the ragweed and we have the trees are either blooming or they're starting to fall or anything that is going to affect the allergens in the air. And that's challenging as well. And then lastly is the ozone. And a lot of times here in Connecticut, as the warm weather comes, the summer comes, the heat, the humidity, also the ozone rises. And one of the interesting things that I read about ozone is that ozone affects your skin the same way the sun affects it in a sunburn effect. So as you're breathing ozone in, it's creating redness and inflammation and swelling in the lining of your lungs. And any time that that occurs, it's gonna make your breathing more difficult. So I just wanted to share that with you really quickly. The temperature, the pressure, the humidity, the allergens, and the ozone, all of those will affect your breathing. So no, you're not crazy when the weather changes. It's very real. And try to stay indoors when it's really hot and humid because the air conditioner will cool the air, but it'll also get some of the humidity out. I hope you found this interesting. If you did, leave a comment below. Have a great day, and if you have any questions about this or any other questions that you'd like us to make a video about, I'd be more than happy to. I'll see you in the next video.